Duke Energy says storms in the Carolinas they believe are getting more destructive, leading to more power outages. This is damage caused just two weeks ago when we had tornadoes. Our Tina Terry is live tonight with the major progress on a Duke Energy plan to get your lights on more quickly after they go out. Tina. Uh, guys, weather like this will always create slick roads and that can cause crashes that lead to power outages. But this area here in North Charlotte is one place Duke Energy has installed self healing technology on power lines. The tech is designed to get your power back up faster on days like this. When I moved out here, I didn't think there was going to be tornadoes, but it seems like every year there's a tornado. Farrell Schuyler says the latest storm that hit Matthews nearly two weeks ago spared his home but knocked out the power for hours. Well, I came home because I'm on third shift, so I had to reset all my power in. A smart grid uses self-healing technology to improve. New multi-billion dollar improvements to Duke Energy's grid could help get the power on faster in the event of a storm. In the Charlotte area, we are installing new technology called the self healing network and what that does, it automatically detects, isolates and reroutes power when an outage does occur. So it would limit the amount of customers who do experience an outage as well as the duration of their outage. Right now, customers who experience outages usually report that information to Duke Energy and then wait until crews restore power, a process that could take hours, even days. That's often due to weather in the Carolinas that Duke Energy says has become more destructive, a pattern meteorologist Jacqueline Shear has witnessed. What we do know is that every storm that comes through has a bigger impact on human life and a bigger financial impact than the storm prior to that. It's important that we make these improvements so our customers can have a better experience and more reliable service. And Duke Energy is asking the Utilities Commission to increase your rates in order to pay for these improvements, but they say they are worthwhile. Check out this story on our mobile app. There's more information about exactly where this technology will go. Back to you guys at the desk. Our Tina Terry in North Charlotte where the snow is currently coming down. Thanks, Tina.